Right then guys, welcome back to the next video. This time it is the Noctua NHD15 Chromax Black versus the brand new Thermalright Phantom Spirit 120 Evo. Let's see which one actually wins, shall we? is the NHD15 from Noctua in Chromax Black at 50% fan speed. It's very silent at 50%. Now this is at full speed of 100% of 1500 RPM. You can definitely hear it now, but it isn't really loud. Okay, this is the Phantom Spirit 120 Evo at 50% fan speed. Very quiet at 50%. You can barely hear it. Now, 100% percent fan speed and that's pretty much as loud as it goes compared to the original phantom spirit this isn't as loud hmm. right then so when it comes to the benchmarks for the phantom spirit 120 evo I will say that the CPU I use is a 5900X with PBO enabled and I run four tests that my usual run of tests, Cinebench R23, Blender Classroom, Blender BMW and 3D Mark CPU test and they are run for 10 minutes to make sure that the saturation of both coolers are the same. So when it comes to Cinebench R23, the idles are 32 Celsius with a max of 84. Blender Classroom, the idles are 32 Celsius with a max of 83. Blender BMW, the idles are 32 Celsius with a max of 81. And 3D Mark CPU test, the idles are 32 Celsius with a max of 73 Celsius. Right then, so for the NHD15 Chromax Black, the Cinebench R23 run, the idles are 33 Celsius with a max of 81. 
Blender Classroom, the idles with 33 Celsius with a max of 81. And Blender BMW, the idles with 33 Celsius with a max of 80. 3D Mark CPU test, the idles with 33 Celsius with a max of 72 Celsius. Okay then, so look, you've seen the overall differences, you've also seen the sheer size difference, and you've also heard the thermals. Now, what I will say is that for the Phantom Spirit 120 EVO at this current moment, it is still £50 on Amazon. The NHD15 can be had on Amazon for £109. Now, yes, it is more than double the price. And it's also a lot bigger. But even though the thermals are more towards the D15, which of course it is an account due to the fact that it's a lot larger in size. So that's where that also helps. Now, when it comes to the price comparison, there's there's going to be a lot of people that will say, oh, because the Phantom Spirit 120 EVO only lost by a couple of degrees in each test that it's still a better value. Yes, it definitely 100% is. This isn't anything against the uh, D15, but the Phantom Spirit EVO is definitely the better option when it comes to value. But if you are looking for the quality the top end, the absolute best cooler, which arguably Noctua does have. A lot of people will say that the NHD15 is the best CPU cooler you can buy on the market. I do not, I, I tend to disagree due to the high price. But that's just my personal opinion. Now, when it comes to the overall performance, yes, the, DH, the NHD15 won. It wins by two to three degrees. Now, the price comparison, of course, that's going to be the major argument when it comes to which one to buy. Now, yes, I would recommend either one of these coolers. But, of course, it comes down to your in individual needs as well as your budget if you've got 50 pound and you want the best cooler on the market for that price then the evo is definitely that but if you want the top dog the the best cooler on the market and price be damned then of course the d15 is definitely a good option as well now of course both are respected in both when it comes to their price ranges and of course Noctua has a very good respect from the community a lot of people do love their products and I do like their products but I also really like Thermorites because they are the I'm going to say it. They are the best bang for your buck brand at this present moment. They have been since 2020. They are the best brand to buy right now. If you want a cooler on a budget that performs just as good as something that is double the price, then of course, this is definitely a good recommendation. But I'm not going to be the advocate here to say which one is the best, which one do I prefer, because this isn't about me. This is about you guys to give you guys a decision to make. If you have got £50 and you want the best cooler on the market, then the Evo is the best cooler for this price range. I do not care what any other brand says. For £50, this, you cannot argue with the results. But if you want the best cooler or arguably the best cooler then of course the d15 is the one to have now that that decision i'm going to leave up to you guys but of course if you have any questions make sure you hit me up in the comments section down below now don't forget to subscribe because cooler master has confirmed they're sending out the products they have promised me this week 
So by next week, I should have them all. So, and I've also got stuff coming from Thermal Right, Thermal, uh, Thermal, right, Thermal Grizzly. I'm also in contact with a lot of different brands. Kingston have sent something out, so make sure you subscribe for that. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and weekend ahead of you. This is Richard from Welshie Tech. Good. Bye.